Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for October 28th, 2020. Well, as we slide toward that Halloween holiday, things are getting spookier and spookier in the market, and we're creating more and more technical damage on these charts. Yesterday, we saw a pretty substantial effort by the NASDAQ trying to provide the lift in the market. You can see we had a little bit of a pop here. They were trying to hold on to the 50-day moving average. But then we got the Microsoft earnings report that beat on estimates, but provided a lower guidance for revenue looking forward. And that is having a toll on the market this morning. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up and get ready for the hump day edition of the morning market prep video. Well, this morning, everyone, um, we continue to get reports that more and more delays continue to be added to the um, stimulus negotiations. Um, Speaker Pelosi continues to say that they're getting drawing closer and closer to a major deal. But it seems that we're probably running into that time frame where it's going to be nearly impossible for them to get something passed. And now there are stories out there suggesting that there won't be any way to uh, pass a bill. There may not be the energy or the willingness to pass a bill until even uh, 2021. And that's having um, a major effect on the market. And then, of course, rising COVID numbers continue to impact the market as we look forward and try to decide what this means for the economy looking ahead. There's just tremendous uncertainty. And now we have really started to technically damage the index charts substantially. If we take a look at the price pattern in here, notice this big ugly pattern in here. This is a what we often call a bearish M. Um, in hit run candlesticks and right way options. But as you can see, that's really nothing more than a failure at a double top. And now we're adding insult to injury this morning with um, a substantial breakdown, uh, gap down this morning um, as the markets um, kind of gain energy to the downside. Those bears really seem to be piling on here. Now, European markets are sharply lower this morning as well, adding additional pressure to this move. So you can see we're sinking pretty hard here this morning. This is this morning's candle. Yesterday, we added technical damage to the chart by following through. And we're starting to see that damage really mount on the market. Now, of course, we do have a very big day of earnings and perhaps we can get enough of those earnings reports to really swing us back up. But we are looking pretty ugly for the open here this morning, gapping away and leaving some ugly damage in that chart. So if we take a look at this chart on a technical basis, we have to continue to recognize that we are in a downtrend. We have lower highs being created in the market. And there is some saving grace here. We are a bit well, we are this morning in T2122 going to show a short-term oversold condition. And if we take a look, there is some price support right down through this area. So perhaps we can catch some price support here this morning in that area and then maybe look for um, that opportunity of a relief rally. So watch that closely. But I have to tell you, with so much uncertainty heading into the election, um, it may be difficult for the bulls to really find that inspiration to lift us up. So watch that closely. I, I wouldn't want to bet the farm with so much uncertainty out there that we're just going to rip back higher to the upside. The market is throwing a bit of a temper tantrum this morning. They're not getting their stimulus um, injection that they were hoping for, and they are reacting. So it may be some time um, before we catch a significant um, relief rally back up. So let's watch that close. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also 
adding to that technical damage yesterday, breaking down through that 50-day moving average and then following through with a, uh, a modest day yesterday uh, for sure, but the pressure um, remained on. And now this morning, we're taking out the low of Monday with this gap down and extending to the downside. Notice the eight exponential moving average is getting ready to cross over uh, back down through that 50-day moving average. Not a good sign for the market, and our 50-day moving average is flattening out and maybe even starting to turn over. So watch that closely if that pressure continues on the market. Now, one good thing um, here in the SPY is we do have some price support that could catch us in here today. Let's draw a line right across through here little tiny bit of price support in here that could catch us and give us that opportunity to bounce back up. But let's remember, um, after so much technical damage, any rally back up could be nothing more than a push back up to test the downtrend and then continue on lower. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at the Qs. QQQ um, tried, boy, the bulls did their best job they could yesterday. And I think there was a tremendous amount of hopefulness that the Microsoft earnings and AMD earnings yesterday was going to lift us back up and we would just uh, soar back to the upside. But as I've kind of been warning, um, I've been concerned that we have pushed the uh, tech sector to such an extreme to the upside that it was going to be really difficult for some of these companies to produce earnings that could support these current prices. Although Microsoft did beat on their earnings report, they issued revenue guidance lower, and that um, obviously is having an effect on the tech sector this morning. So. We're seeing um, that bearishness push here into that chart. The other thing adding to this this morning is Facebook, Google, and uh, someone else. I can't remember. Facebook, Google, and Twitter CEOs are, are, are going to be facing a Senate committee where they're attempting or talking about changing up a law that provides social media outlets um, legal protection essentially from misinformation being spread on their sites. Um, it's a, it's a, an exclusion that mainstream media doesn't enjoy. And Congress seems to be after these guys right now. And so they're going to be grilled this morning um, in a Senate hearing. That may not provide any help to this market. We're kind of piling on to the bearishness here. If that rule were, rule were or those laws were to change, it would probably change the landscape of the social media platforms uh, forever. It could be an interesting situation. So watch that closely. Um, we could pile on with a little bit of more bad news here in um, that Senate hearing today. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM has held up the strongest of these indexes, but notice we're getting a substantial gap down this morning, pushing back down to its 50 day moving average, and we are breaking. Um, the support levels in this chart. We've been holding and enjoying that support level up here, um, holding on, but now we're breaking down through that and IWM could give up its 50 day moving average here all at once today. So pretty bearish in the market where we're failing um, at these resistance levels. Um, could be a, a rather ugly and painful day for a lot of folks that were trying to buy up this uh, current market pullback, um, hoping for a stimulus deal, hoping for um, good earnings from that tech sector. So um, pretty ugly damage being created this morning. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX, um, I, I've kind of cautioned on this and suggested that we have a little bit of worry here in that VIX with this higher low that was created right here. And um, now breaking back up through that 200 day moving average, this big move this morning could easily spike us all the way up in here. 
um, or maybe beyond up toward the 40 handles here in um, the VIX. That would mean a potential break of this downtrend that we were looking at here in the chart yesterday and that possibility that we could really start adding some fear to this market. So be really, really careful with this today. Um, we may find some inspiration in some of the earnings reports to bounce us back up. Um, because we will be in a short-term oversold condition, but um, be really, really careful here. Fear is mounting. And then if we take a look at that T2122, that four-week new high, new low ratio, you can see yesterday we had just a little bit, little tiny bit of a bounce trying to show up in there um, yesterday morning. Or, or excuse me, yesterday. But this morning, we're going to see that probably right down here, probably um, at that extreme level with this gap down this morning. So that gives us that little bit of hopefulness that we may have reached an oversold condition. And if we can find, I'm gonna put a big if in there, if we can find um, some inspiration um, on the bullish side with all this uncertainty out there, we might be able to catch a little bit of a relief rally um, after this morning gap down. So watch that closely. There may be that opportunity, but it may be fleeting with, uh, unless we get some news reports that start to support the idea that we're gonna get stimulus before the end of the year, those kind of things. Um, otherwise the market may not have a whole lot um, uh, to react to. Now, tomorrow, I got to tell you, tomorrow we have a massive day of earnings and a lot of big techs will be reporting. That could be the day that we could get a turnaround if those numbers come in good. Unfortunately, if we kind of see that mixed bag that we've seen here lately, um, with some of those techs being pushed to perfection and beyond, it may be tough for them to report um, really good earnings and drive us back up. So boy, a lot of things that we have to consider and think about in this market. It's very, very dangerous. And I got to tell you guys, it, it wouldn't be at all out of the question to just say, look, I'm going to pack it up. I, I'm done trading until we get past this election and some of this uncertainty uh, works its way out. So if, if you're finding that your accounts are being significantly damaged by this volatility, this wildness, it may be time to just shut off the computer and go do something a little bit more productive while the market kind of flops around here trying to decide where the world is going to end up um, in, in a few days. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. We do have a few things on that economic calendar that we want to pay attention to this morning. Notice we have um, international trade. By the way, the mortgage applications came in and it showed that we may have peaked in those housing sales. Um, uh, mortgage, mortgage, mortgage applications came in um, uh, just kind of eking out gains this morning. So we may be starting to peak on that housing crest of low rates. Um, so you'll want to keep an eye on that. But we have international trade and goods coming out here at 8.30 this morning. That, of course, can move us around. Consensus right now is showing, expecting a pretty good number, but you know, um, it, it's still a very bearish number overall. Our, our, our goods number, our trade numbers are not good. And then we have that petroleum status report later on today. And of course, if we show a surprise decrease in supplies, that could help the market. But with COVID numbers running up, we could easily see a surprise increase in those supplies, and that could actually continue to damage that oil sector. So a pretty ugly day um, that we face with a lot of uncertainty here in the market. Now on the earnings front, we have a huge day, and I can't cover all of these earnings reports. More than 100 companies reporting earnings today. I'll cover just a very small few of those. And if you want to see the full list of notable reports this morning, um, go take a look at um, the morning blog. If you um, find the title of the video here, it'll be just below the video. Right underneath there, there will be a link back to the blog post and you can kind of take a look at all the companies that um, 
could be uh, notable for today. A couple that you might want to pay attention to that will be rather interesting, um, I think, might be companies like Boeing. Boeing um, is going to report, and you can see it is trying to move up this morning. Obviously, the 737 MAX um, is trying to... Um, well, they're getting it back in the air. Things are starting to improve maybe just slightly um, in that um, area. So you might want to keep an eye on Boeing. Could start moving back up here just a bit. We also will hear from some giants like General Electric. General Electric trying to um, bounce back up. Um, obviously, this has been a incredibly bearish chart for a long, long time. They're trying to reinvent themselves, um, reorganize, and come up out of the bottom here. So let's keep an eye on that as that reports. We're going to hear from Ford today. Um, Ford has been rallying up nicely. It looks like it's looking for a little bit lower move here this morning. We'll want to watch that close. A um, little bit of pressure there on um, Ford um, right now. We also will hear from stocks like Six uh, Six Flags. We're going to hear from stocks like UPS. We're going to hear from Visa. We're going to hear from uh, WDC. A little bit of Western Digital in there. So lots of reports um, this morning that we'll want to be paying attention to that could move the market around. So with that, everyone, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today? But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time that you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up. And if you find these videos to be helpful to you, please do me a favor and click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment, and then please feel free to share these with any of the social media platforms that you use just so that we can continue to grow the channel. And I truly, truly appreciate everyone who does take the time to do that. It means the world to me. And I want to wish, um, wish you all that take the time to do that all the very best. Um, it makes a difference um, if you kind of pay it forward um, with other traders out there. Let's take a look in um, some of these stocks that may be setting up. Please keep in mind that everything could be changing today very dramatically because of this gap down. But let's take a look at a few of those that might be doing pretty well. Now, one of my favorite right now that I continue to hold and I added to yesterday was NIO. NIO is looking very, very good notice. My entry into this trade was over in here. I also, after it moved up, I sold the 30 calls against this trade to create a covered call position. I actually own the stock. And then yesterday, this nice little bounce, I ended up buying some more stock on this trade. NIO is looking pretty good. I wouldn't be at all surprised with the pressure that we're seeing in the market right now that this could pull back substantially um, or consolidate over toward its trend still before that has an opportunity to move up. It may be difficult for it to rise with so much bearishness showing up here in the market. You may want to take a look at things like VXX today. VXX, um, which is going to trade inverse to the market. This is the VIX short-term futures ETN. And you can see we're starting that move where we're breaking that downtrend here in VXX. Any kind of rest or pullback in here could set up an opportunity for more fear coming into the market. So watch that opportunity pretty it's likely going to spike up substantially here this morning, so don't chase it. But there may be some opportunity in stocks like that. I mentioned yesterday um, utilities, XLU. XLU might be a place to look for a little bit of relative safety. Good dividend paying um, ETF, something to watch. Now this morning, it is also being affected by the sell off. We're, we're pulling back, but it might be worth watching if uh, that pullback happens to hold this price support area in here and catch a bounce. Keep an eye on that. I would keep an eye on some of the precious metals. GLD, as fear comes into the market, we're seeing right now gold is actually pushing lower. 
But don't be too surprised if that kind of reverses. If fear starts to really creep in, there tends to be a move toward gold, silver, some of those precious metals. You might want to keep an eye on that. Right now it's not looking good, but watch that closely. Silver might be a place to look. Um, you can see broke through that downtrend. It's trying to hold it as support. If we can find some of that bullish action in there to pop off of that. Other places you might want to look are some of the, um, um, some of the inverse, um, type ETFs, um, some of those inverse places where you can maybe catch some upside move, um, as the market sells off a place to watch, um, uh, just take a look at some of those inverse uh, trades. Um, I still think FedEx, UPS, and with um, UPS reporting today, we could get um, some price action in both of those stocks. I think we need to keep an eye on those. With everyone buying online, even all their groceries and everything being bought online with rising COVID numbers, you could see uh, the opportunity where those shippers could do very, very well. So keep an eye on those as um, we continue to progress through this COVID mess that just just won't give up. Also, take a look at stocks like um, Nike. Now, Nike was holding up yesterday. This morning, it's giving that up. This could be one of those signs where we're finally going to break that support here in the chart. And that could really set up where we've been very extended, um, could set up that opportunity for some short trading coming into some of these stocks as we start breaking down some of these highs. So watch that closely. This is one of those that could go either way. If we find that inspiration and bounce could turn into a good day here for Nike but watch that one closely so there's a few charts for you to look at guys I got to tell you it's going to be a dangerous morning to be jumping into the market and I, I'm guessing there's going to be a, quite a little bit of pain this morning uh, people uh, will be um, closing out trades early this morning, trying to protect themselves we could also have um, those folks that have been short could start covering those shorts and we could get a little bit of a relief rally um, in uh, the market today. So a lot of back and forth, a lot of volatility, a lot of danger. And I think this danger is going to continue to exist through the election and maybe beyond. So be really, really, really careful. Protect your capital, guys. Um, be safe. Everyone take care. Have an awesome day. I want to wish you all of the best and we'll see you right back here bright and early. Thursday morning. Have a great day, everyone.